It's time to beat some information into you repeatedly and super fast, also while doing minimal work. It's time to talk about massage guns. Woo! All right, that's good right there. Yes, yes, right there. I like that. There. Stop. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm Maverick Jones. What are you doing here? Stop doing that. Stop doing what? Woo. Mm. Mm. Woo. Ugh. Ugh, feels good. Uh, Woo. Uh, uh, there feels good. Uh, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Use this. What is, what is this? <laughs> Yes, 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 yes! Damn, still weird. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the science behind massage and massage guns, the principal use and benefits of them, i.e. if it's worth your time and money, some best practices if you have one, and finally, we'll include a little review of one that was just sent to us. Now, we're not gonna tell you which brand to buy or anything like that, but we are using the Egged Away Pro in this video because Egged Away sent it to us to review and to do a giveaway for. Egged Away is not paying us to do this. They have no influence over the content of this video and they're not reviewing it before it's published. <sighs> now with that out of the way. Here you go, dude. Thank you. So what's the point of massage aside from just honestly feeling good? Well, research has shown that it can result in accelerated tissue healing, reduced delayed onset muscle soreness, better recovery post-exercise, decreased pain, improved function, such as with like range of motion and self-reported improvements in your activities of daily living, decreased stress levels with like lower levels of cortisol and increased serotonin and dopamine. Wow, okay, so I mean, that's quite the impressive list. Can we apply the research in massage in general to massage guns? So when I was working on my certification in applied functional sciences, one thing that this system or ideology taught was that effective massage techniques should be concentrated and slow. It needs to slowly move fluid, such as like blood and plasma, in order to reduce pain. And in order to move that fluid, you don't wanna quickly mobilize the tissue, but rather you wanna move it slowly. But hold on, there's also research out there about another technique that counters this. Research has been done on a deep friction massage or what we refer to as a cross friction massage technique. This is a technique designed to break up scar tissue and help with healing tendinopathies such as climbers or tennis elbow. This technique is meant to be performed in the exact opposite way from what we just discussed. Cross friction massage is meant to be done with like small, deep and quick strokes over the tissue. This is more closely related to what we see with an actual massage gun. Does that mean that the effects of a massage gun are gonna be different from standard massage techniques? Unfortunately, theory, anecdotal evidence, and an educated guess are what we have to rely on here. That's because there really isn't enough hard evidence to stand on to confirm nor deny the difference between a standard massage and that of a massage gun. In general, we see that the effects of most types of massage are beneficial in some way. Quick side note, when we're talking about research of like four massage guns, we're looking at percussion or vibration therapy. I'm gonna refer to it as like massage, that massage gun therapy, but if I say percussion or vibration therapy, it's the same thing. Okay, so this vibration therapy is still pretty new in like the sense of its popularity. So while there is some initial research out there, it's quite limited. It's limited in quantity, it's limited in quality, and it's even limited in like types. There is evidence supporting vibration therapy to help reduce delayed onset muscle soreness 24, 48, and 72 hours post-exercise. I think one of the coolest bits of research that I found along this journey was research showing that massage techniques don't have to be long to be effective. In an article titled, Massage and Performance Recovery, a Meta-Analytical Review, they showed that just five to 12 minutes of work was beneficial. That's a minimal effort to have some good results. And that's gonna come up again in our recommendation section. I don't wanna mislead anyone or just like 
cherry pick the evidence that supports the use of this tool. That is not the goal, nor should it ever be. So I have to show the neutral or the negative research that is also out there. So one article shows that vibration therapy did not result in any statistically significant improvement in functional outcome scores compared to standard treatment for tennis elbow. Another showed that the effects of massage on performance recovery are really rather small and partly unclear, um, but are mostly only relevant under certain circumstances, like short-term recovery after intense mixed training. And finally, another one showed that prescription of vibration therapy after maximal effort like exercise involving eccentric muscle damage did not alleviate signs and symptoms of muscle damage faster than the standard prescription of stretching and massage. You might be noticing a trend here. There really isn't any objective evidence suggesting that massage guns are absolutely the best or massage guns are terrible for you. The final decision is gonna to have to come down to a variety of pros and cons that you can weigh for yourself to see if a massage gun is worth it. We're gonna briefly talk about those pros and cons then I'll give my personal recommendation. Let's look at what's not so great before we get into the positives of massage guns. Massage guns can be expensive. They're definitely more expensive than just like using your hands or a cheap tool such as a butter knife to work on your tissue. These guns can be as cheap as 100 bucks or more than 500. It's also an electronic device. It may be bulky to take with you, it runs off of power, so you're on a long road trip, you might be without a battery, and obviously it won't be very effective then. And this is kind of a little one, but it also makes noise, so it's probably not the best thing to do while you're watching a movie with your honey boo. Also, it's really not a good warm up. I've seen claims that this helps you warm up before exercise or climbing, but let's break this down. A massage gun should not be used solely as your warm up. Yes, it can be part of the warm up to loosen up or mobilize the tissue, but it's not really going to do anything that heats it up enough to improve some of the real functions of a warm up. The main part of a warm up is to increase heat in the area to improve nerve conduction velocity, as this will help with motor control, strength, and awareness. This tool, like, will simply not do that. You need to contract and relax your muscles, i.e., a warm up exercise, in order to do that. You need to practice the recruitment of those muscles and actually to actually prepare them for the demands of climbing. I have to comment on this because I've seen people take these guns to the gym and even to the crag. Now that's not to say like if you really love using this before climbing that you can't do it anymore. It's just do it and then do an actual warm up. Don't just do this and then climb. Like we don't want to get you hurt thinking you can do this as a warm up. Finally, like there isn't really a lot of evidence saying this is really worth your time. A lot of the results are similar to regular massage and some of the results are quite mixed. So in this case, we can't lean on science for our final answer. But hold on, don't make any decisions yet. Let's take a look at some of the positives. For one, massage guns are fun. It can feel like it's doing you a lot of benefit, which has a positive effect on your mental outlook and can even cause a positive placebo effect. People often scoff at the placebo effects when in reality they can be a very influential force. In fact, I say, and I'm not alone in this, that the placebo is the best medicine we have. Furthermore, massage guns make massaging easy. It's convenient, and let's be real, life is freaking hectic. Ever since I got the gun, basically every night is treat yourself night. It's quick, it's easy, and it feels good. And that means I do it consistently. I mean, I feel like I pretty much do it all the time. Looks like I'm doing it right now. I didn't even know. Huh. It also doesn't require any specialization. Like using cupping or myofascial decompressing like, or like a special instrument can require a fair bit more experience to be effective with. The massage gun just requires basic intuition. It's definitely less of a hardcore demand if you ask someone to give you a massage as well. Instead of that person feeling like their hands are gonna like fall off from all the work they're doing just to make you feel better, they just had to hold this gun and let it do all the work. So, uh, what should we do? Um, I don't know, do you want like a neck massage or something? Really? You do that? It's so romantic. What? Oh, yeah, sure, it's fine. Turn, turn the slide. Okay. Should have listened to me. What the f is wrong with you? What the f 
Okay, so now that we're well informed on the subject, how should you proceed if you decide to get a massage gun? If you want to be able to ask us questions on future videos, be sure to follow us on Instagram because that's where we'll be posting these opportunities to ask questions that we will feature in upcoming videos. The first question is about timing, like when should you use it? Well, the reality is you can use it at any time. It can be used after dinner, it can be used before, during, or after climbing, but there is some research that shows one of the best times to use it would be immediately after exercise. What about duration? How long should you do it? Well, we mentioned earlier that you really only need about five to 12 minutes to be effective with massage, so five to 12 minutes. I usually do it like when I'm watching an episode of TV or something after dinner, so I might spend 12 minutes on each arm. Good to go, that's all you need. What about frequency? How often can you use this? Well, once again, we have to rely on anecdotal evidence to answer this question. Um, and we also use some common sense here because there's no specific research out there telling us the best frequency to use a massage gun. However, as long as you're not seeing any negative effects like bruising, then it's fine. It's really up to you and what you personally enjoy. One thing to remember though, is that there is research saying that just five to 12 minutes is all you need to reap the positive effects of massage. So doing more than that every day may not be the best use of your time. All right, so what about head type? Well, I mean, all are good. Like as we mentioned before, I, I usually say use a softer head around like bony prominences just cause you don't want that hard like aluminum head to like be constantly racking on your bone. Um, but any of the heads are fine. Just do what feels good to you. Can it be used on sore tissue? <laughs> Of course it can. Just don't use an attachment that causes pain or don't push so hard that you cause pain. Can you do it too often? Yeah, I think you can do it too often, especially if you develop bruising or an area becomes like more tender. That would mean you're probably doing it too much. So should it hurt or should it be comfortable? I mean, it should mostly be comfortable. Going into pain is not smart because you might just contract your tissue rather than relax it. But there is a type of pain when massaging that feels good rather than like, oh, that really hurts. The good pain is okay. Should I combine using the massage gun with topical ointments like CBD oil for better effects? I mean, personally, I wouldn't. Like having used the tool, I don't want to like oil or lotion myself up before using it. One of the heads is foam and I don't want it to like dirty the head with oil. And the other heads are that aluminum alloy and I like to like rest or hold the tool on certain spots and that oil or lotion might make it slide around more so it wouldn't be as easy for me. You could use it after the treatment, but I wouldn't do it during. And also if you decide to use CBD oil, look up the research and see if it makes sense to you. I'm personally still waiting for more quality research to come out before I have a strong opinion on it. Is it more effective to be used right after a climbing session, during climbing, or on rest days? So best practice would be to use it right after a climbing session and on rest days. Well, that was easy. Is it better to increase pressure or speed? The best way to answer this is area dependent. For smaller areas, such as your hands, use higher speeds with less initial pressure and then slowly add pressure as tolerated. For long, larger areas, such as like your legs or your forearms, use slow to medium speeds to start with medium pressure and again, work your way up with pressure as tolerated. Are there any benefits in using a massage gun between climbs where you feel really pumped? Well, again, that's kind of anecdotal because there's no evidence for it, but I mean, we always are like shaking our arms out, right? And then kind of massaging our forearms and whatnot when we're tired. So if you mis use that mas massage gun, it makes you feel a little bit better, then that's okay. But again, that's just anecdotal evidence. Why do some muscles hurt really bad, like the calves, where other muscles like can hammer on? I think that works with more than just a massage gun. Like you can ro like roll on a foam roller on your back and place a ton of load on it, but then you go to your calves and all of a sudden like you're putting very light pressure on it and it hurts. Part of that has to do with the amount of tissue displacement you can get, like greater surface area on the back, less in the calves. Part of it has to do with the amount of tissue between your skeletal structure and the instrument. And part of it has to do with just the amount of nerve endings in the area. Some soft tissue will be more sensitive to, to displacement and force than others. This is totally normal and nothing to worry about. Just because you can hammer on your back doesn't mean you need to apply the same force to your calves and suffer through the pain. We never explicitly agreed to do a product review for the 8 Pro, but having used the gun myself, I would like to add in my own thoughts. Keep in mind, I obviously can't do an in-depth long-term review at this stage, so I won't comment on things like longevity of the device or customer service. 
So I'm also a person who has never paid for a massage myself because I believe in the power of like a lacrosse ball, a foam roller, and simple healthy movement and stretches. And I also work a very mobile job. Like I don't sit all day, so I'm, I'm pretty biased with some of this, so just keep that in mind. All right, so what are the positives? It's actually really quiet, especially on like the lowest settings. It's super quiet. I'm a big fan of that because I can watch TV while I do it. Even the highest setting is still pretty quiet. I mean, I gotta turn the TV up a little bit, but it's not too bad. It has a, like a five light battery indicator, which uh, is helpful to see where you're at with your battery life. And they advertise like a four plus hours of use. And I would believe it. Like I, I feel like my use of it would, so far has been four to four and a half hours on a single charge. The battery is also removable, meaning if you really wanted, you could have multiple batteries to bring with you, whether that's like on like a long trip or if you need to consistently use this for clients, say like hours at a time. The ergonomics are also solid. I like, don't feel any wrist pain using it. And if you hold it like low enough, you actually don't feel the oscillation of the gun at all. It also comes with multiple heads. Like I love the foam head. It is an all purpose head for like the forearms and can get close to bony prominences without causing any pain. I also love the small aluminum alloy head on the hands because it feels super good with the higher pressure it can create. I feel like the build like feels really solid for this model as well. It feels good, it's pretty compact. It passes the eye test as it looks pretty good too. Unfortunately, I haven't used like any other models and massage guns, so I can't really comment if I like this design more than another. And honestly, it's just fun and exciting to use. It's something I can do like on a regular basis and it's easier to use in some of the other tools. And I still enjoy doing cupping and decompression but using massage gun is like fun, quick, and easy. So I definitely like it for that reason. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so what are the negatives? Um, honestly, like I, like I said, I'd rather use a, an instrument assisted tool on my, like, on my hands because the reality is I just don't feel like it's enough pressure sometimes on the hand to break up that connective tissue. Another negative, it's, it's kind of pricey for something that isn't absolutely necessary. Now there are a lot of other massage guns on the market today for around like a hundred bucks. They could of course be total garbage or they could be great. If you're going to buy one, definitely do like a quick search on the internet for some reviews since there are so many options out there. And also like with a foam roller or lacrosse ball, you can get your back pretty easily, but you can't get your back on your own very well with these guns. You'll definitely need your buddy, Emil, to get most of your back like you can probably get some of it but they need to make one that you can just attach to a wall and you just lean up against the wall oh gosh ah not again jeez mm. oh no ow hey buddy what's wrong ah, i hurt my hamstring again i didn't warm up enough mm, that sucks well i'm gonna go climb hey no can you massage it for me i can't reach Massage it? Yeah. Like with oh. my hands? It hurts. No. It won't be weird, I swear. I guess. Come on, just do it. It hurts. I'm waiting. Uh, it's 2020. I'm actually fine with this. Overall, these things are a blast. They're a fun party trick at the minimum, but at the max, they're a nice convenient tool to help you in your rehab or your training. They have multiple purposes too. They're easy to use and require no special instructions or education. The technology also seems to be improving as more and more companies put their item out there, which also mean prices should keep coming down, making these a more affordable tool in your toolkit. Overall, if you have the money, they're a fun item and worth it, but if you don't have a disposal income, no stress. You can use simple tools such as lacrosse or tennis ball, foam rollers, or inexpensive J tools for your massage techniques. But if anything, do some massage. Take care of yourself and your body will thank you. All right, the part that some of you have been waiting for, the giveaway details. Now, I can't remember all these details, so I'm just gonna read it off my phone. I, he won't mind. So. We are giving away a brand new, unopened Aked Away Pro to one subscriber as a thank you for supporting us. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram at Hooper's Beta Official, 
leave a comment on this video, and if you share this on your Facebook page and tag us at Hooper's Beta, you'll get an extra entry. Wow, look at that, extra entries. The giveaway starts when this video goes live and ends 14 days later. And also, thank you to A2A who was willing to give us an extra one to give to you. As always, we hope you found this video to be beneficial and answers most, if not all, of your massage gun questions. And until next time, train, massage gun to perhaps lower your delayed onset muscle soreness, climb, massage gun on your rest days to help those elbows feel nice, send, congratulate yourself on sending by buying a massage gun, repeat. Well, don't repeat the buying the massage gun part. You already have one. What's moving more, my hand or the gun? <laughs> Time to beat some information into you repeatedly and super fast while doing minimal work. <laughs> Why am I laughing already? So, massage... <laughs> So when I was actually working on one of my certifications, one of my certifications, I feel like I'm like talking a lot and you're not. Like, what's going on? Mm, mm, mm. You're slow and tired, <laughs> old man. <laughs> my right contact just isn't working very well. All right, so for one, massagens, massagens, massagens. You mentioned this before, but it's also so pretty pricey for some, something. I need water again. Gosh, I'm like just getting like dry mouth. <laughs> Pull it out at parties. I'm sure your friends will love it. Pull it out at parties. Chop your pants. Pull it out. The gun that is. Wait, which gun? <laughs> Oh, hey, we're still here. Jason, they're still watching. Oh. Heyo. Dude, say something cool so they like the videos and subscribe for more awesome content. Um, like and subscribe for more super sweet vids, y'all. So lame, dude. So lame. I thought it was pretty good.